During my autopilot drive in San Francisco, autopilot performed an emergency brake for a bicyclist. He wasn't directly in front of me or in my lane, but autopilot thought he might be in the near future, presumably from his direction of travel. This tells me that autopilot is no longer only looking at directly what's in front of it, but instead now making some predictions on the future. I want to see if this applied to pedestrians as well, and what the current limitations are. Before we get into this video, which I think you're going to want to see, I wanted to give a special shout out to my first ever Patreon, Paul Barwick, who sent me a message that really got me thinking. Paul mentioned he's old enough to remember the first transistor radio hitting the market in 1954, and that really put into perspective the crazy advancement we have seen in autonomous cars in such a short period of time. In the two years I've owned my car, I've seen it go from only being able to stay within its lane to driving the streets of San Francisco. With the advancement that I have personally seen in the last couple of years, it really makes me wonder what Tesla's autopilot is going to look like a couple more years from now. Just some food for thought. So thanks again for the monthly coffee, Paul. I really do appreciate it, and it means a lot. And away we go. My wife will be wearing all black today to make these tests as difficult as possible, and you'll especially see that in the later clips when it's really dark outside. I know a lot of you think I am putting my wife in danger by doing tests like these, but I want to assure you that we had talked before this, and she is okay with risking her life for science, so it's fine. Just kidding. In all seriousness, my wife and I were very in sync through this entire video, and we discussed exactly what each other would do in every clip just to make it as safe as possible. I had full control over the car and would not let things get dangerous. First test with her walking on the right side of the road goes very well, gives a lot of room, no problem at all. Now we'll go ahead and do a test where she's walking in the middle of the road. Similar result here, autopilot actually moves off to the road a little bit into the rocks very slightly and does a great job. Now we're going to have her walk in the center of the lane. So this result surprised me quite a bit. I was expecting it to really slow down and have some harsh braking, but it did just go around her. It did it safely, um, but I was really expecting it to slow down first. I want to take a moment to remind you that full self-driving firmware does release about every week, and it will control for these things differently in the future. So just keep that in mind. So oblivious pedestrian test goes pretty well. This is actually the first time we hear that warning chime. Also, I wanted to let you know there seems to be a bug with the visualization where the brake lights on my car don't light up, so you can't count on the visualization to show you the brakes. We'll go ahead and run that test once more with her walking from the opposite side of the road. It does a pretty good job with both of those, but I would like to see it react a little bit earlier in future software updates. We're going to run a similar test, but with her jogging from the side. Again, a little bit late for my taste. It kind of waits until she's completely in the lane to really start breaking. So it'll be interesting to do the same test in future software updates to see what the difference is. She's standing behind a for sale sign over there so that she can stay out of view of autopilot for as long as possible. You can see how wearing all black is making this more and more difficult as the sun goes down. Check out how far that visualization is able to see her in all black on a dark night. Uh, that's pretty impressive. For this last test, before we get into crosswalks, she is just trying to block it wherever it goes. 
thought this was pretty interesting behavior, um, especially from what we've seen before where it went around her. I was almost expecting it to try to go around her, especially right now, but uh, it doesn't. It just stays directly in its lane and uh, creeps forward when she moves and stops when she stops. So interesting that it's different this time. Just real quickly between clips here, I just wanted to show you that the autopilot visualization now shows the doors and the trunk and everything else opening. Um, I forgot to show you that in my previous video, so here it is. <laughs> Sorry about that. All right, and now we are on to the crosswalk tests. We're going to be going a little bit faster in these clips, uh, I think 30 miles an hour for each of them. So kind of interesting result here. You can see Autopilot initially breaks softly, um, almost thinking like she's not going to continue through the crosswalk, but when she does, there's a really hard break. You can see in the visualization, she was being tracked from pretty far back, um, but that really hard break didn't happen until right at the end. Also interesting that it didn't fire the uh, takeover immediately tone, but I guess it was already going so slow that it didn't need to sound it. Here's an example where she was just standing on the side of the road and then decided to walk into the crosswalk at the worst time possible. I personally think Autopilot did a pretty good job here. This is a difficult situation for even a human driver. But seeing how far back the visualization was picking up on her does give me some confidence. And for our final test, we're going to do a crosswalk on top of a crest. Uh, that way my headlights don't quite make it over as I'm going up the hill and she's all dressed in black, so this is really going to test autopilot's reflexes. I think it did a pretty good job here as well, especially considering the conditions. I really like that it swerved away from the pedestrian and there's no oncoming cars, so pretty cool. So how do you think the FSD beta did in these pedestrian tests? I'm interested to hear in the comments. Thanks for watching. Bye.